guys, I'm Danny, and I'm so excited that you're here today. You know, there's so many fun places that you can visit in your neighborhood, and no matter where you go, you can always learn something about Jesus. Today, we're gonna take a walk through my neighborhood, and we're gonna find the answer to today's big question. Who is alive? So. Welcome to the neighborhood. It's always nice to be with you. Let's go to the neighborhood and we'll learn something new. Learning from our neighbors, we'll learn about Jesus too. Together we can help each other, cause that's what God likes us to do. Welcome to the neighborhood. It's always nice to be with you. Let's go to the neighborhood and we'll learn something new. Come on, guys. Let's go. This is the neighborhood where I live, and I have a lot of friends who live here too. There's also a lot of great places to visit, like the post office or the fire station or even the donut shop. Mmm. Hey, speaking of the donut shop, there it is right there. Let's head inside and see if my friend the donut man can help us learn something about Jesus and find the answer to our big question. Come on. Well, hi there, donut man. Hey there, Dan Dan the Music Man. It's great to see you. It's great to see you too. Hey, I brought my friends with me today, the CCV Kids. Nice to meet you, kids. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hey, can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at the donut shop? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Working in the donut shop is sweet. Sugar and the dough moving to the beat. Mix, mix, swirl. Mix, mix, swirl. Hey, kids, do you want to try to mix the dough with the donut man? You do? Well, great. Stand up. Let's try it together. Here, get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Mix, mix, swirl. Mix, mix, swirl. Mix, mix, swirl. Mix, mix, swirl. Last time. Mix, mix, swirl. Nice job, everyone. Next, we put the donut dough into a big machine that cuts it into circles, like these. Oh, those look so good. That machine is pretty cool. Then comes the most exciting part. We have to let the dough rise. Wait a minute. The dough is gonna rise? That's right. The donut dough rises three times. It's the yeast that makes it get bigger and bigger and bigger. Whoa, that is totally awesome. <laughs> I like to say it makes the donuts come alive. Come alive? Hey, we are looking for the answer to today's big question. Who is alive? Well, these donuts are not actually alive, but I know a Bible story about someone who is. Wait a minute. I know that story too. And I know what we need to tell a Bible story. A Bible. I have a Bible app right here on my phone. Awesome. Hey kids, are you ready? When you ask what is the right thing I should choose to do, or when you want to learn about the love God has for you Let's jump into the Bible to find out who's alive, everybody Stand to your feet. Okay, here we go. It's easy. On the count of three One, two, three, jump!
Jesus is God's son. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed people from their sicknesses and did many miracles, like calming a storm. Jesus even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. So they made a plan to get rid of Jesus once and for all. They got one of Jesus' disciples, Judas, to agree to hand over Jesus to them for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed them which one Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so they could decide what to do with him. The rulers were angry and decided that Jesus was guilty and he would have to die. They beat up Jesus. They tore his clothes and placed a thorny crown on his head. Jesus could barely stand on his own. They made him carry a heavy wooden cross to the mountain. Once Jesus made it up to the mountain, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. Many people shouted at Jesus, but Jesus knew he had to die to forgive people from their sins. Soon, darkness covered the whole land. Then Jesus took his last breath and died. A good man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. A big stone was rolled in front of the entrance. Three days passed. It seemed like there was no hope. But very early on the third day, a woman who cared for Jesus went to visit him. She found that the stone had been rolled away and his tomb was empty. Jesus was no longer there. An angel appeared to them and said, don't be afraid. Jesus is not here. He has risen. Jesus is alive. Then the woman remembered that Jesus said he would rise on the third day. They ran to tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. After that, Jesus appeared to his disciples many times to show them that he was alive and well. He told them that he had to die so that everyone's sins could be forgiven. Jesus was dead, but now he's alive. We can celebrate that Jesus is alive. Wow, that story is amazing. Jesus died and was buried in a tomb. That's right, and three days later, the big stone was rolled away and Jesus wasn't in the tomb anymore. That's right, Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus is alive. Hey, CCV kids, we just got the answer to today's big question. Who is alive? The answer is Jesus is alive. Who is alive? Jesus, Jesus is, is alive. alive. I'm so glad that Jesus is alive. Me too, Donut Man. Hey, wait a minute. I think I have just the thing here in my donut shop to help us remember that Jesus is alive. Well, you do? You bet I do. You see this donut here? Mmm, chocolate, my favorite. If I cut this donut in half and place it on its side like this, what do you see? Uh, a chocolate rainbow. Nope. Uh, a chocolate rabbit hole. Uh-uh. Think again. How can this donut remind us that Jesus is alive? Mm. Oh, <laughs> I get it. The donut looks like the tomb where they buried Jesus. That's right. And this donut hole is like the big stone that was rolled away. Watch this. If you put the stone in front of the tomb like this, you can count to three and roll the stone away. Let's count to three together and roll the stone away. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Wow, that is so cool. Now whenever we see a donut, we can remember that Jesus is alive. And do not ever forget it. <laughs> donut Man, thanks for showing us the ropes today in the donut shop. We had a great time, Donut Man. I guess we'll see you next time. Goodbye, friends. See you in the neighborhood. Goodbye for now, friends.